Hi, this is Bill Gord. I'm a storyteller, and today I'm with Edmar Castaneda. You can hear it already. He's playing the harp. And we're going to tell a story from South America, a folktale. It's called The Two Girls. Once there is a young girl, and she lived in a little house with her mother in a small village. And down the road a little way was another girl who lived in a big house. One day, the girl from the small house said to her mother, you know, mother, there's no work in the village. I think I need to leave the village to find some, some work and get us some money. Mother said, oh, daughter, I hate to see you leave. I won't be gone long, mother, I won't be gone long. But I'll find some work and I'll bring something back. Okay, my daughter. Blessings on you and to you. And the daughter set out and she left the village. She needed to walk across a field and there in the field were two bulls. They were butting horns and heads. Oh, oh, she watched, oh, she watched them. She watched them. Oh, it made her sad. She sang out to those bulls. Oh, 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 oh. And they calmed down. Those bulls calmed down and they started eating grass side by side and she smiled and she walked on across the field whoa a river not a big river but it was rough and tumbling whoa there must have been a storm way look at that look at that it's like they're fighting the water's fighting itself she sang out to the river Let your waters calm down. Let your waters calm down. And the river slowed down. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And she could see there were some rocks that were just above the water's level. And she could jump from one to the next, 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 and over to the other side of the river. And she traveled on. Where will I find some work? Where will I find some work? And then she saw a house up on a hill. Maybe that person needs some help. So she climbed the hill and she went up on the porch. And she knocked on the door. And the door opened. And the girl saw an old woman. And the old woman looked at her and said, yes. And the girl said, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I left my village. I'm, I'm trying to find some work. Do you have anything that I might might do? Well, maybe, would you maybe clean my kitchen? Sure, any, any work. I'm a hard worker, any work, sure. Well, come in, come in, come in. The girl walked in, here's my kitchen over here. 
And she opened the door, the old woman opened the door. And the girl looked and, oh, oh, the kitchen was filled with dirty pots and pans and dishes, stacked up high crusts of food, stuck to the pan, stuck to the dishes. Oh, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. But the girl didn't say anything. She just looked. And the old woman said, well, do you think you can do it? Of course, of course I can. Do you want to sit in your living room and I'll get to work? Thank you, thank you, said the old woman. And the girl started working. Pots and pans, dish after dish after dish after dish after dish. She cleaned each and every one dry them and put them up on the shelves and hung the pots and pans from their hooks got out the broom swept the floor mopped it wow look at that kitchen look at that kitchen and she came out and she said to the old woman excuse me I'd like you to see the kitchen. Oh, okay, show me. And she led the old woman into the kitchen and the old woman smiled. And she looked around and she said, oh my, oh my, oh my. I didn't even know my kitchen could look like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I, I, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. And the old woman walked back and the girl helped her sit down. And the old woman said, well, before I pay you, could, could I ask you to do one other thing for me? Sure. Would you scratch my back? Scratch your back? Yes, would you? It, it feels like it. That would really help me feel better. Would you scratch my back? Sure, sure, I'll scratch your back. And she started scratching the old woman's back. Ouch, ooh, the girl looked at her fingers and they were bleeding. She, my, she looked down at the old woman's back and there were little pieces of glass stuck in her skin. Oh, this poor old woman. She picked them out, 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 she picked them out. Is that better? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I think I need to get home now. No, no, I need to pay you first. Okay, thank you. Well, here's what you do. Just go down the hall. See the hall there? You go down the hall and the first door on your left, you open that. And in that room are chests. They're all different sizes. And you pick the one that you feel is right for you, for the work that you've done. You mean I pick, not you? Yes, you pick the one that you feel is the right one for you, for this work. And so the girl went down the hall and opened the door on the left. And she looked in the closet. And it was more than a closet. It was a pretty big room and many, many chests, all different sizes little tiny ones and great big ones. And she looked around, which one to choose, which one to choose. And then she spotted one. It wasn't real tiny, but it wasn't big, big. It was just a small, but beautiful. And it felt like, oh, I love that. It's just right. It's just right for me. 
and she picked it up in her two hands, and that's how it fit. It fit just right in her two hands. And she walked back to the old woman and she said, can I, can I take this one? And the old woman said, it's not very big. Oh, but it's so beautiful. May I take it? Sure, of course. Thank you, oh, thank you. And so the girl left and she carried that little chest. And the river was still running smoothly, smoothly. And she went rock to rock to rock to rock to rock to rock to rock. And she walked across the field. And there were the bulls still grazing in the grass. And she walked down the street in her village. And she came into the house and she said, Mother, I'm back, I'm back. And look what I got. Look at this beautiful little chest. And her mother said, what happened? And she told her the story of the day. Wow, what a beautiful little chest. Did you open it? No, I just picked the one that just seemed just right. Well, why don't you look inside? Oh well, yeah, I guess I should. And she opened the little chest and do you know what was in there? Gold, 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 pieces of gold. And they took the gold out and they stacked it up on the table. Look at this mother, look at this gold, 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 gold. Mother, this is unbelievable. And her mother said, oh, daughter oh daughter and they closed the lid and they looked at the gold on the table oh I didn't even notice what the bottom of the chest looks like let me look and she opened the lid and it was full again it was full of gold again and they took out that gold and they stacked it up on the table and they closed the lid and they opened the lid and was filled with gold again and they took that gold out and they stacked it on the table and they closed the lid and they opened the lid and it was filled with gold again mother look 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 so much so much I have an idea what I have an idea Mama, we could, we could have a celebration. This village, we hardly ever get to do really, really special things and we can invite everyone and have a great celebration. And the mother said, oh, that's a great idea. I'll take the money and I'll buy all the things we need. And you, you go and invite everyone in the village to come to our place for a great celebration. So the mother went to buy all the things they would need. And the daughter went door to door to door to door saying, come to our house, come to our house. We are going to have a great festival for everyone. Just bring yourself and bring your instruments to play music. But we will supply all the food all the food, it's going to be a wonderful celebration. And she walked door to door and people were smiling and getting excited. Oh, I forgot to knock on the door of that great big house. There's a girl living there. I bet she'll want to come. And she knocked on the door of the big house. And the door opened. The girl from the big house and she looked at the girl from the small house and she said what do you want what are you doing at my house oh I I didn't mean to bother you I, I just well, well we're gonna have a great celebration a great celebration and, and we're inviting all the people in the village and you live here 
So you can come. It's gonna be wonderful. There'll be music and lots of food. It's gonna be a great celebration. And the girl from the big house said, you're giving a celebration? You don't have anything. How can you give a celebration? Well, I, you should come, you should come. I don't think I should come. I've never been to your house before. Why should I come now? Because it will be fun. You should come. Well, I might come, go ahead. And the girl went back. And soon there was music at this great celebration. And the girl from the big house looked out the window and she saw, wow, how in the world did that happen? How could she pay for all that food? We all know she doesn't have anything. So the girl from the big house went across to see what was going on. She listened to the music. She saw all the food. And when she had a chance, she asked the girl, how in the world did you get all the money to pay for this? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I did. Well, I, I went across a field and there are these, I was looking for work and there are these bulls fighting. So that made me kind of sad because they didn't need to be doing that. And you know how we can sing to them. And so I sang and it calmed them down. And I moved on and the river was seemed to be fighting it. You know how rivers like beautiful music. And I sang and it calmed the river waters down. And I got across and I came to this old woman's house and, and all I had to do was, was clean up her kitchen and scratch her back. And, and then I got this chest and there was gold and more gold and more gold and more gold. Can you believe it? Isn't it wonderful? And the girl from the big house said, yeah, I've got to go. And the girl from the big house went back home. And she thought about it. And she thought about it. And the next morning, she got up and she left the village and into the field. And there were their bulls. And they were fighting again, butting heads, pointing horns. Ooh, yes, fight bulls, fight. Yes, fight bulls, fight. Yeah, yeah, fight, 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 fight. And she walked past the fighting bulls and she came to the river and the river was swirling and twirling, splashing. Yes, yes, river. Oh, show your power, show your power. Fight, 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 river, fight. Go, water, spray, splash. Go, go, water, go. Oh, look at that. I've got to get across this river. Oh, here's a, here's a long stick. I will vault across. And she went and stuck it in and whoa. And she landed on the other side. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got to look for the house. She said, let's see, she said, yes, a big house, a big house up on a hill. Oh, there, that must be it, that must be it. She went up, knocked on the door, knock, 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 knock. Open up, open up in there. The old woman opened the door, yes. Look, I'm looking for some work. And uh, I don't, not too much, but I want to get one of those chests. Oh, okay, said the old woman. Uh, would you come in? Would, would you maybe uh, clean my kitchen? Clean your kitchen? Are you asking me to clean a kitchen? I've never cleaned a kitchen in my whole life. But yes, if it will get me a chest, I guess that's possible. I guess. 
show me where the kitchen is. Okay, uh, I'll show you. And she opened the door and it was filled with dirty dishes all crusted up in the pots and pans. Oh, it was, oh. And the girl from the big house said, oh, that is disgusting. Oh, yuck. Oh, well, I guess I gotta do it. Okay, old woman, you go and sit in the other room. And by the time I finish, there will not be a dirty dish in your kitchen. Don't worry. So the girl from the big house closed the door to the kitchen. And then she grabbed a pile of dirty, dirty, dirty dishes. And she started throwing one by one out the window. They crashed one, another, 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 another. Crash, 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 crash. Threw the pots and pans out the window, one after another, until there was not a dirty dish in the kitchen. In fact, there was not a dish in the kitchen. And she said, well, 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 I am through with that. And she walked in to the living room and there was the old woman and she said, old woman, I have finished your kitchen. There is not a dirty dish in your kitchen and now it is time for me to get paid. I would like to have one of those chests, please. And the old woman said, well, Would you first scratch my back? Scratch your back? No, I will not scratch your back. Are you kidding? Ugh, I'm not gonna scratch your back. No, just tell me where, where do I get my chest? Okay, said the old woman, okay. You go down the hall. And the first door on the left, the room there is filled with chests, small and big and medium. You pick the one that you feel you should have for the work that you've done. Well, I already know which one I should have. I just hope that you have that one. And so she walked down the hall. She opened the door, the first door on the left, and there was that great big room with all those chests. And she pushed aside the little chests one after another, and you know which one she picked. The biggest one there. It was hard to carry, but she carried it. And she walked right by the old woman and out the door without even a goodbye. And she walked down the hill, and somehow, I'm not sure how, but she got across that river, and she got past the fighting bulls, and she moved into the village, and she did not want anyone to see that she was carrying this great big chest because she was not about to have a big festival for the whole village. This was for her for her alone, and she carried that big chest, and she went around behind her house so no one would see her going into her house, and she went into her house, and she went up the steps to her room in the very top of the house, and she went in her room, and she closed the door, and she locked it, and she went to the window, and she closed the window and locked it, and she lowered the blinds, and she said, now, now, let me see what I have. And she opened the great big chest and she looked inside and what did she see? It was filled with poison snakes. And that's the story.